Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you the review, demo, and swatches on the brand new Westman Atelier iPods in Le Jouks. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel, ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads, and come and check my Instagram. And now, if you want to see more details about these luxurious iPods by Westman Atelier, then just keep on watching. Westman Atelier is a brand that has been calling my name for quite some time right now. I mean, since the time that Gucci Westman came out with her foundation, the packaging is just so beautiful, then the cream blushes, Ooh, and then Michelle Wan, she keeps raving about that lipstick palette. It's just this little round palette that it looks very pretty. The shades are perhaps not the shades that I will get the most use out of them. And look at me, I just haul a Chanel lipstick palette. But oh well, I don't know. I mean, the, the brand is just absolutely beautiful. The packaging looks just so luxurious, so unique yet so very um, elegant, very modern, very sleek too. And I think that's what is just kind of like intriguing me, pulling me in. And I didn't hear much of a buzz about this new launch. In fact, I knew that Westman Natalia were coming with some iPods because of their Instagram. I mean, I didn't saw it anywhere else. So as soon as I saw the pictures, I'm like, ooh, ooh. I'm intrigued right here. So these trios, they come in two variations. One is Le Jour and the other one is Le Nuit for the day and the night. And honestly, I was really attracted by the one for daytime. The nighttime, it looked a little too deep for me. And I have just to be honest with myself too, because although obviously I wanna bring you know the best reviews right here and give you a lot of like choices and whatnot, I also do not want to create waste, waste of, I mean, myself, of money, obviously, but also a waste of products. So anyhow, when I received the box, it was really well packaged. And when I opened it up, this is the way it came. So beautiful. It just comes with this beautiful tissue paper. This is Westman Atelier. It has on this side right here, the hearts, and then it has the seal. And you know what? You can just slide it off. And it comes in this beautiful component right here. So it has this leaf. This leaf is, like I said, baby pink. And baby pink is all over the place right now. I mean, we have seen Gucci with this baby pink. Why into kind of like a blushy tone? And then YSL too with this glow powder right here. But yeah, this is just so pretty. And then as you take out this leaf right here, you will find, you know, the box, which is kind of like this grayish tone and then you have these little kind of I shouldn't say envelope but it looks kind of like an envelope and it says right here pouch and clothes and yeah basically when you take this out you'll find a little canvas pouch and also kind of like a very light baby pink shape this seems to be kind of like a raw linen and uh, it says right here in gold Westman Atelier too. And then here they are the trio of eyeshadow pots. And then the three that you get in Le Jour trio is Neige, Chocolat and Tabac. And look at these little, little mini tiny pots. That's what they are. Now, when you open them up, <laughs> don't think that this is full of eyeshadow because it's not. Now, these are also stackable and they are magnetic. So, now the lid is not magnetic. You see, you have to, you know, it's a twist cap and make sure you click all the way. Otherwise, if you don't do so and say you leave it just without clicking it and you stack it, this, since this is magnetic, it's gonna start pulling on the lid and then it can dry out your eyeshadow. And then you can also storage them on your little pouch and just have them nice and safe like that. So that's kind of like the component. I think I really love, again, it's just the design, the color selection, everything that it just looks very luxurious, very beautiful, and very feminine too. Okay, let's take a peek right here to the different shades. 
So on this grayish tone, you get the shade Nesh. It is a whitish kind of shade. Now, on the eyeshadow, you will see is embossed with the logo of the brand, which is a really nice, pretty heart. And it feels, you know what? It feels actually really soft. A nice frosty white color. And on the dusty baby pink packaging is chocolate. It just feels so creamy. And now on the golden pot, you get tabac. Definitely this color story is daytime, work appropriate, very, I mean, very simplistic right here, but I think I chose the correct trio for myself. Mostly, you know, stepping my toes into the brand and not knowing. Now these trios right here, it's a luxury brand, so the price is up high. These three right here cost $88. I know, each trio costs $88. Now these products, they are made in Italy and they have a shelf life of 12 months. I would like to go a little bit on the website and read a little bit more about the formulation of these trio because like I said, they feel very creamy. It says right here, luminous eyeshadow trio that provides soft definition and a sumptuous finish using only the cleanest ingredients. This velvety cream powder hybrid Formulation is designed for comfort, blendability, and rich color payoff. Innovative magnetic pots snap together apart for easy portability, blah, 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 blah. Okay, there's no silicones in here, no parabens, no PEGs, no phthalates, no talc, no synthetic fragrances, and no pigments. These are also vegan and no animal testing. Okay, aside to that, I see that here, like I was saying, okay, so scrolling down, it, it shows a coconut. <laughs> so that's what I was thinking of. It says right here, silky emollients derived from coconut oil and fatty acids replace silicones for luxurious sleep and blendability. Featherweight rice and plant extracts provide a velvety smooth application and molten second skin effect. Naturally derived pigments bound together by a unique oil gel suspension system create an elastic cushion sensation and luminous melting finish for fluttering wearability. Okay, that's quite a bit right there. And actually I was watching, I think I was in a live yeah, I think it was an Instagram, you know, story. I don't remember, but Gucci was when she was applying these spots on herself and she was, you know, just saying that you can use your fingers. And that's very typical also of many makeup artists. I mean, we have seen it not only on Gucci Westman, but also like Pat McGrath, for example. But I'm gonna be using some brushes today and I'm just gonna start with the demonstration and let's just take a look. By the way, let me just smell them because since it says it has coconut, I mean, I don't have anything against coconut. I mean, it doesn't break me out. I know for some people it breaks them out, but not to me. But I just want to smell them. Yeah, they don't have any, any scent. I'm going to start first with Tabac and my Wayne Ghost number 18 brush. And I'm going to apply these just all over my eyelid. Going into the shade Chocolat and refer number 12 brush. I'm placing this eyeshadow on my outer V. I'm curious to see how it looks just using my fingers, so I'm gonna go back to the shade Tabac. Okay, it doesn't have like a ton of, I shouldn't say luminosity because it does have certain luminosity but it's not your typical, I mean, if you see it from the pots, you may think, oh, this perhaps is a little bit more like metallic-y. It's not like that. Okay, last I'm gonna go with the shade Nesh Refer 03 brush. And I'm gonna use these on my inner corner and then on my brow bone. Now for my lower lash line, I'm gonna go to the shade Chocolate on my Refer 02 brush. And I'm going to take it again right here on my lower lash line. 
I want to add a little bit of like a pop of luminosity right in the middle of my eyelid. So I'm going to go back to the shade Nesh. I'm just using my finger. I'm just going to tap it right in the middle. For my lower lash line, I'm going to be using Marc Jacobs Highliner in Rococo. For my lashes, I'm going to go for Gucci Love Score Mascara. And for my lips, I'm going to be using a Rouge Hermes Rose and Songs. The finish is so beautiful, so silky. It is not exactly a cream, but it's so emollient as an eyeshadow cream that it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury, these cream eyeshadows in the sense of the finish, that silkiness. So after you apply this on and after you blend, 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 this is kind of the finish that you will get. Now these have a little bit more payoff, you know, in the sense of like how shimmery it is. Again, when I say shimmer, I'm talking about shines and sheen to it, but not really like um, sparkles or any type of like glitter in it. No, none of these products have glitter in them. Well done with the application and let's talk a little bit more about this trio of eyeshadows and I think what it's important right here to know is the weight um, because when I received them let me tell you that I thought wow these look very little on the pan and this contains 2.4 grams of product in total for the three eyeshadows and then the weight for each of the pots is of 0.03 ounces. So I do have right here one of my Tom Ford eyeshadow quads in Honeymoon. Now this product right here, aside to come with four eyeshadows, it also costs $88 here in the United States. It's also made in Italy and it contains six grams of product. While the ones from Westman Atelier is 2.4 grams of product in total okay and then looking into my collection i went ahead and pulled out my victoria beckham eyeshadow palette this one here is in tweed now this product contains 8.5 grams of product and then i went ahead and also pulled out one of my chanel quads this is warm memories and this compact contains two grams of product i will say in comparison right here you're getting a little bit more product on the westman atelier but the Chanel one, this quad right here, and any of the quads, they cost around 60 something dollars, 64 dollars if I don't mistaken. So you're paying a lot more money for Westman Atelier. Now let's talk a little bit more about the finish of these eyeshadows. I don't think I have anything like this in my collection. They are super creamy, but they are not a cream formula. Now they do not have a lot of pigmentation, but basically, I mean, it's a very subtle, very subtle type of look overall. I mean, you're not gonna get, you know, a wow effect, not even, I mean, you saw it on my demonstration, not even applying it with your fingers. You will just not get extra pigmentation. It's just meant to be a wash kind of color and just, again, creating that shadow effect that at the end, I mean, it looks very pretty. If you are not very comfortable using very pigmented type of eyeshadows, this could be a really, I mean, and if you like luxury <laughs> brands, obviously, because this is a luxury price right here, then you will like this type of formula. This is not, in, I mean, there's no comparison between these and any other eyeshadows that I have. And I'm talking about Charlotte Tilbury, it will give you more of a glistening effect. Tom Ford and Mossy, his wet and dry formula, that will give you, you know, even more impact. And then the ones from Victoria Beckham, I mean, even the silk one, it would just give you a lot more, I mean, not metallic, but it just gives a lot more pigmentation. It's, it's very beautiful and it's out there. This is just toned down at least 10 times. I mean, like, it's just, you can see it right here. It's barely there. I don't think there's a lot of room to kind of built on the shadow because they are not meant to be used that way. They are just 
for very easy of use. Uh, so let me show you right here an example with this Tom Ford one. Okay, I'm gonna do this one and this one. And these two shades, I mean, they are not, they're gonna be kind of close, but obviously not the same. But I just want you to see the finish of them. Now let's go into, say, Victoria Beckham. And I also have Silk right here. Because these eyeshadows, they are more, I mean, they are not matte. They are kind of like more satiny. And I'm gonna swatch also this right here. Now let's go for Chanel. Now this right here is a very warm tone palette. I don't even know why I grab it, but why not? But let me just try this one right here. It's kind of like that shimmery formula. So let's just try it right here. I mean, soft too, but I, I guess you can see right there what I mean. I mean, like these are not as shiny as these other eyeshadows right here. If you plan to purchase this product, you have to think about that this doesn't have any parabens. It is a clean product, which is amazing, but you have to get used out of it. And, you know, just like any makeup, it has this expiration day, so you wanna make sure it's something that you're going to actually, you know, have it in your rotation or use it as often as possible. And aside to that, all that amount of money that you're paying is not only for the formula that is in here, but it's also because the packaging. The packaging is very weighty, it's very lax, it's unique, each of them are different components. So I know for sure to produce these, I mean, you're not massive, you're not doing a massive production of like one eyeshadow compact, you know what I mean? You're, these are three products in, you know, in one. So a lot of that money goes into that as well. Now, don't get me wrong, the packaging is just so luxurious so beautiful i mean it's just sleek it's just very feminine i really like the packaging but what i'm trying to you know tell you and hopefully comes across the right way is that the formula is unique it's very simple it's nothing you know like a lot i think if you're somebody that doesn't want to have a lot of makeup on your eyelids this is absolutely perfect for you and then again the packaging is also you know you're you're paying part of that money goes into the packaging so anyhow do i like it yes i really like it i i will find myself actually using it quite a bit because it's extremely easy to use and like i said it just lights on so perfectly on your eyelid and now i would love to know what you think about these trio shadows are you planning to get them have you got one of them maybe you got the Lenuit. I would love to know all your comments, what you think about them, or if you're planning to get them. Also, let me know, have you tried Westman Atelier? What other product would you suggest for me next to try? I would love to know your opinion and while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel. Ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads, and also come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, also share with family and friends, and until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.